Good morning, I'm Lisa from Inspire and I'm here to welcome you to the wellbeing sessions as part of World Mental Health Day 2021. Whether it's Tom Daly learning to knit to control his anxiety before he won his Olympic medal, the banana bread that you learned to make during lockdown or your newfound interest in gardening, being creative, learning a new skill, taking the time to notice what's around us and giving back to our community are really important ways to look after our health and well-being. In fact, they're part of the internationally promoted Five Steps to Wellbeing, five things that we can do every day to help look after our own mental health and wellbeing. This morning, we're going to go to the beautiful surroundings of the candle making factory in Bolster Community in Newry. We're going to meet candle makers Olivia, Lisa, Natasha and Gary, who are going to talk us through their own creative processes, show us how to make candles and the impact that the work that they have and they do has on their mental health. Comedian Tim McGarry is going to be there talking to the candle makers, learning how to make candles and learning about how he can implement the five steps to wellbeing in his everyday life. And Dr Siobhan O'Neill, the Northern Ireland Mental Health Champion, will be sharing her thinking on post-pandemic wellbeing and how we can inter integrate uh, hope, the five steps to wellbeing and look after ourselves and the people we care about on this World Mental Health Day. We're going now to join everyone live at Bolster Community Neary. Hello, I'm Tim McGarry and it's World Mental Health Day. And where am I? Where am I? I'm in the centre of the universe, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in Newry. I'm in Newry at the Bolster Community Centre. And I'm talking to Siobhan and I'm talking to Lisa because these are two, these people are doing fantastic work down here. They're making candles. Uh, I, my wife uh, loves a candle, so I've got Christmas, I've got birthday presents sorted out. We're gonna, I'm going to come run away here with about 500 new candles. Uh, Siobhan, tell us what's happening here. What's the, tell us all about the Bolster Community. Well, I'm here with with the people here to make some candles for World Mental Health Day and we're going to talk about the Take Five Steps to Wellbeing. So ways of looking after your mental health and right. keeping yourself well um, and we're going to be talking about how we make the candles and learn a wee bit um, about that as well. Yeah. Okay, well if that's enough from you, I want to talk about, <laughs> to talk about to Lisa. Lisa, yeah. you're, you're at, the, we're at the very start of the process here. Can I ask stupid questions? Yeah. How do you make a candle? What's a candle made of? I know we think wax, but is it beeswax or what? Or any, what, what do you? What? 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 How? You, what is a candle? We uh, we uh, make uh, we have candle making. We make on the, the wax machine. Right. And then we have a, a scent, lavender on lavender spa scent and all, and then we have one of these green these we put these in bush. Right. On these here bush, and then we put these here top on these on the scent in the middle. On the middle here, before we put this on, then we put this here in the middle, set in a circle. Right. So these are handcrafted candles. Yeah. These aren't just your ordinary yeah. run of the mill candles. These no. are handcrafted in Uri. Yeah, uh, is it a relaxing job, Lisa? Do you feel when you're doing it? Is it? It's. It seems like a nice, easy, yeah, it's relaxing easy job. job. Yeah. But relaxing and all these things show the people how to make them. Yeah. How do we make them? Right. And so the wax goes in, and then that's that's a that's a wick, isn't it? That's that that? here's a wick, and you glue it to your wick. Right. You glue it like this. All right. You glue it, and then before you put it on, then you have to put in the middle, then press down here. Right. And then you then you go over. But then, then the wax goes on top of that. The right? wax goes over. All oh, right. Then you pass it over. Then you ah. put these in here. Then you set them in the wax machine. Brilliant. And there, there's four different processes because yeah, I think there's four, four different, different people. people. Do you get to swap around and you yeah. get to do all, all different bits of it? Yeah, all different bits. We, it, we, have, um, we have a website. We have a website up there on for the lockdown come in. Brilliant. And we put a lockdown so people can go on our line, buy them off us, and then we do hampers. Can I get some cheap ones? Yeah. Can I get half price? Will you do me half price? Yes. Give me half price because they'll be too. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I met boys like that before, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Siobhan, these, what's your involvement there in this community? You're kind of the. Well, I'm the mental health champion for Northern Ireland. You're the right? oh, yeah. So, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
yeah, yeah. A, a champion, no less. A champion, I know. It's, it's, a great, it's a great title. I'm a professor as well, so I study oh, this professor? stuff at a university too. So I'm here to, to find out about the work that the people here in Bolster community do and also to try and get some messages out around it, looking after yeah. mental health and wellbeing, you know, because it's just so important, especially... You know, we've been through so much in the past year, the pandemic. So it's it's just good to have a wee conversation about what we can do to look after ourselves and keep ourselves well and how to make beautiful candles that we can buy and raise money for charity and that helps us feel good about ourselves as well. Yeah, and it's about silly things like like relaxing, like going for walks, like sleeping properly and stuff like that. We calm ourselves down yeah. really and, and what we do to regulate after you know we have stress and pressure and that gets us all activated and going. So even the, the kind of things we're doing here pouring wax and stuff yeah. should help us feel a wee bit more relaxed well there's I mean, a nice smell in this building there's a very yeah. nice smell in it so yeah. having that smell in the house helps you feel it, it helps does. you feel relaxed and it reminds you of you know having a massage you know going somewhere nice to have your hair done or something you know so it brings your brain back to that place which is yeah. good then if you're all stressed it can help oh, it can help that yeah excellent all right, Lisa, thank you very much. Uh, are we going to see some other people? Or are we, are we, I'm not going to chase you out, you know. But, you're, uh, <laughs> but basically, you, you carry the rest of the team. You do yes. all the work. <laughs> and these agents come in and they do nothing. And be, but without you, there is yes. no candle. Is that, yes. Am I right? Yes. Am I right? Yeah. Lisa, thank you very much for taking the time. Lovely thank to you. talk to you. Yeah. Best of luck with the candle making. I will, I will be bang a few after, after this is finished. Yes. But you're gonna, you don't, you're gonna do me a deal, yeah. aren't you? You're gonna do me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lisa, thank you very much. Thank you, brilliant, Lisa. Gary, thank God you're here. <laughs> Lisa was spouting a lot of lies saying she was the most important person in the process and apparently it's you all along, is that right? Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't say that. You wouldn't say that, you're a humble man, aren't you, Gary? I come from humble stock. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my mum says. So Gary, tell us about the process here. Lisa was starting off, she's putting the wicks in. The wick is the centre of the thing. The metal holds on, holds onto the wick to ensure that the wick stands in place. What, what's the next process? Where do, you, where do you come in? Well, file up the wax and then pour it out, measure it out. Uh, we usually do for five to go 910 grams of wax to 100%. Sort of gives a nice heat balance and told you you're getting 1,000 grams and of whatever inside of a little glass like that. Right. Mm. So the, the scent is about 1 to 10 there, or what would you say, 900 was, to 1? So 910 to 100 cent. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, I misspoke, it's 110 grams. You're getting an extra wee bit. You're getting an extra wee bit there? And what are those, the scents there, uh, sort of essences or something? Or what are yeah, they, it's like, like, like flavoured oils. So if you're, I think if you're making ice cream and then you're doing it up and you're like stuck for a flavour and you would take whatever ingredients, you mix it and mash it, whatever you need to do, Throw it into the ice cream, stick it in the freezer, and then out bobs your own. And there's, there's thousands and thousands of different smells. I know oh, yeah. Christmas, everybody loves their Christmas candles and stuff like they that. But, like really, but what's your favourite What's your favorite scent? Which one would you, which one would you recommend, Gary? I would highly recommend anyone uh, would like the sweeter kind to purchase the black plum and rhubarb. Black plum and rhubarb. Look yeah. that down, I'm going to get that. I really think in. I would like black that one as well. Rhubarb. Is it quite yeah. heavy and intense? It's fruity. Fruity. It's fruity. 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 Okay. Too fruity. <laughs> and do you can you mix more than one together, Gary? Like, could you mix black plum and rhubarb with something else, or would that be a really bad idea? Am I going away off piece here? Right. No. 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 The way you say it is like, there's no like an art. There's no really right or wrong answer. You know yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, uh, you can mix. You don't know what might be the outcome but you can mix you'd be better maybe to burn two candles together yeah and experience that well, the only thing with that is if you're burning stuttering uh, if you burn two candles together at the same time then depending on how your nose is you might find the combination of scents depending on what they are a bit overpowering yeah. okay okay you could be a one at a time i think that, that yeah. that's the message I'm is, is it a relaxing like, job gary is it nice and neat? You, you find it is it fiddly is it uh, i mean the, the nice smells and all seems seems like a kind of perfect wee job <laughs> no like doing this is doing this is easy the well doing speech and drama was harder is that right yeah dabbled in foreign art for three years 
Well, you were playing the guitar earlier on, so you're oh, a yeah. musician as well as yeah. everything else. Yeah. Singer, songwriter, uh, cover artist, part time actor. And candle maker. And candle maker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. Oh, right. Yeah. Called multi skilling guy. You know? I, as, the, as we would say about bards, jack of all trades, master of none. Bucket <laughs> <laughs> of one, might uh, make up some will show you a little bit. Yeah, yeah, let's Can let's see what get, what's get. involved, yeah. Hey, bar. So. Okay. What's what the crack? Doing? What is Bolster Community of Aid? Uh, you were so, explaining to somebody who'd never heard of you before. What do you do? What? Alright, so apart from doing candles, um, the amount of candles is our main trade. They used to be a charity clothing store as well that started on these. Um, we do family outreach, we do work with young ones, uh, anxiety workshops for young ones who suffer a hell of a lot with it. Right. Um, and just, I think, really just help in any way they can. They're talking, well, we're trying to get a contract on the go at the minute to bring in more ones on the autistic spectrum so that they yeah. can get. Get out and have uh, a bit of crack and a bit of socialising. Yeah. Are you finding that Siobhan? There's a lot. I mean, there's a lot of talk now about mental health and all of that. There's a lot of anxiety. There's a lot of anxiety yeah. about. Yeah, yeah, there really is. There's um, with the pandemic. You know, having to stay away yeah. from the people that you care about, being oh. away from from your friends. Locked up in your home. Particularly if you're yeah. young, being away from your friends is not. It's exactly. not a good place to be. You know, you get kind of. It's like when you remove an animal from the pack. You know, yeah. from farming stock as well. Yeah. Like when you remove the sheep from the the herd, the sheep freaks out a bit. Like so, if yeah. you think about it like that, it's it's not good for us. But most of us will be grand. I think that's an important message. It's yeah. about managing stress. But then, for some people, you know, it's tipping them into mental health problems, and also for people who have mental health problems, you know, they're telling us their mental health's worse. Yeah. So you know, th there's there's definitely a need for more services. Uh, yeah. Well, well yeah. Is, is there any practical stuff that we can do ourselves just to keep ourselves less? Well, anxious, the, we can... th this idea of completing the stress cycle. So um, we get a bit stressed, and our body reacts in a particular way. But if we um, if, if we do things to complete the stress cycle and to process that stress, then we're helping ourselves. It's when too much much stress builds up and we can't cope with it we start having feelings and behaviors that are mental health problems basically so um, the take five steps the five ways to well-being um, are, are really good they're right. really evidence-based there's a lot of research that they work so things like first one is stay active Right, stay you know, active. Exercise. Like, get out of the house. You know, get your off animal the sofa. off the sofa. Tell your animal brain that you're fighting the enemy. Right. You know, everything's going to be okay, and your brain goes right, right. We can, we can calm down now. Right. Um, and connecting as well. The, the whole right. making those connections with other people really important to, to regulate and process stress. We feel good when we're with other people. Yeah. We have a bit of a laugh, you know. So um, those those are really important ones. And the sort of stuff we're doing here, taking notice, you know, being in the moment. And trying to appreciate the things that are around us and really getting involved in something um, like making a candle or even watching a candle, you know, yeah. talking about meditation, like yeah, you know, no, sort of taking notice, just get bringing ourselves right into the moment. Very, right. very, very good. For so us. being active, collectivity, being in the moment, what else? Being in the moment, um, giving back. Giving back? Oh no, I don't like the sound of that. Well, no, back? but you see, oh. this is this is the thing. We're all Give giving back <laughs> every day of the week, and we don't even realise that. You know, if if you're looking after your family, if you're going out to do, yeah. if you're making people laugh, well, you're giving many a, a smile. Is that right? I've had, yes. I, it, it, you, mean, you mean I could get a grant for this? <laughs> well, I, no, yeah. no, I know. No, I'm not saying that. No, I know. We'll joking. talk to Robin Swan. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Yes. But um, giving back, yeah, in some yeah. way, it just helps you feel that you're doing something useful. Yeah, being kind and all of that. It makes Hi. you feel good as well. It makes you feel good. And I've forgotten the other ones. So what are they? <laughs> I know, but the Professor, expert on mental health. <laughs> I just forgotten the fifth. I forgot the fifth oh, step. See, if you were a politician, Learned. you would be crucified. Learn. Le learn. See, I give her the time learn, to come up. Learn. I, learn. I may have been prompted. Like, like learn the five steps. Like, and remember them. <laughs> <laughs> like that, you mean? Uh, like no, that, so yeah. that's a good. So, so, uh, so, so I can remember them. Right, do you, do you go through them now? Okay, me? so active. Yes. Connectivity. Yes. Be in the moment. Yes. Take notice. Take notice. That sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, give back. Yeah. And learn. Keep learning. Keep learning. Oh.
Look, I'm we're learning here now. today now what's I'm happening here. Well, you were walking away there, Guy. We were just yeah, having yeah, a chat. We have just left you to do all the work. Here all day. This looks like a lovely glass of Chardonnay or something. So what, what is this? Or, or something getting, else. Getting, well, <laughs> we're doing lavender spa at the minute. Oh. Give us a wee whiff yeah, of that. that's lovely. Oh. That is Ooh. lovely. Yeah, careful for the mood. So that's quite warm. It's not... Is, what, it, what is the wax hot? Yeah. So we we melt the wax down, we mix the scent in, so I just measured it out down 910 to 100 scent. And then do you leave that to set, or what, how does that work? After, we, after we pour them out, we leave them to set. How long does that set. take? Uh, it depends. If the room's heated, which I really hope it is, it'll probably set in about an hour and a half. All right, mm -hmm. quick as that. Yeah, and then if somehow it goes wrong with the old glasses, uh, and if they don't set right, we would take a hairdryer, melt them down a wee bit at the top, fix it up, and then just let it set again. Right. I would also add a sex step, uh, I would also add reflect. Reflect? Oh, very good, yeah. okay. Look, we're totally enough learning five, Gary. Just <laughs> <laughs> no, I would definitely reflect, what do you mean by that, Gary? What do you mean? So, uh, being active, getting out of the yeah. house. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're being so heckled, told. Gary. You're being heckled. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, I know, I know I'm assuming. But no, getting out of the house, being active is all very, very important as well. Having a creative outlet as well, like, you know, yeah. if you're musically minded, indulge your art. If you like making jewelry, yeah. indulge your art. Uh, but after you deal with your stress and learn from it, reflect on it and think to yourself of the experience. So take stock of what you did right, take stock of what you did wrong. And then that's the learning process. So then the sixth step would be reflect. <laughs> But that's great. Self awareness so yeah. important. Knowing what you know, what your strengths are. Knowing what stresses you out, and you know, yeah. learning mm -hmm. from that. So that's learned that as a part time youth worker. <laughs> yeah, very good. I was going to say, if you are you a psychologist, or have you <laughs> no, some sort of training in this? Yeah. I just studied. I studied after music and and the arts and stuff. I went into the youth work right to try mm -hmm. and help young people as well. Right. So I okay. believe that. Quality, diversity, and integration on the rebel as well as an introductory into youth work. You are a flipping expert and multitasker, aren't you? <laughs> That's fine. I just do what I can to help the community. Yes. We're all learning about ourselves every day. Exactly, and that's, what makes that's us step tick. seven. Well, even at my age, I can learn more. Yes, neuroplasticity happens throughout ne the life. Neuroplasticity. Our brain is constantly Neuro changing. Neuro neuroplasticity, yeah. We think a lot of this stuff happens Suddenly in Suddenly you're a professor now. You couldn't um, remember five professor. things a minute ago. Now you're in neuroplasticity. <laughs> now you're getting my neuroplasticity <laughs> lecture. <laughs> Tell us what neuroplasticity is then. So, so it's on. whenever your brain is making connections. To right. Basically to protect you from stuff that happens in the future that's going to happen to you you know so when you're in a child your brain grows so so quickly and it's your brain's way of preparing you for the world so all these little triggers and things are wired and that's why a lot of therapy is about what happened to us because right, right. it sets all these things up you know but it's throughout the lifespan so you can teach yourself right. to be more mindful right. to live more in the moment yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> you can. No, no. And be more grateful as well, because one of the things about being mindful is actually thinking about the good things in your life and the good things that are around you. Right. And it's it's a lovely. It, it helps. It really helps when you're feeling down and low. You can train your brain then to be more grateful, and that that over time brings you up. Brings you up a bit. Look at that word learning. Nice. We're learning. Yeah, uh, Gary, thank there. you very much for your time. Um, are we going to talk to Olivia or are we going to... I'm not getting ready yet, Gary, but oh, right. go away. We'll, 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 I'm finished with you. <laughs> are we going to be pouring our own candles? <laughs> Listen, Gary, thanks a million. Bit. Really appreciate that. <laughs>
Right, mm-hmm. right. Because so. you don't want a wonky label. No, no, you don't. No, because then you would because be then, like it's sort of spoiled. Yeah. But you, and you have to get the right label. You don't want blackberry and, and rhubarb, and then you've got the wrong label on it. And you're going that that's just not blackberry and rhubarb. <laughs> this is this is banana. And I, I'm just, am I, am I nose going mad here? And that's the end here? of the date. <laughs> that's everybody goes home disappointed. <laughs> 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 exactly. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just taking your time on it and, and do uh, try and do your best. That's all you can do. Yeah. And um, it's just more because I have anxiety. So when mm. I I sometimes panic, but then I don't uh, um, sometimes panic, but I just take take a deep breath and move on and just don't panic. Panic. Uh, tell us a bit about the bullshit community. Has that helped with your anxiety and stuff? Or is that yeah, it has. It, it actually build up, uh, build up my confidence, you know, um, to do, do it. So, um, you know, and I sometimes do have nerves, but I just brace through it and I just get on with it. That's all I can do. So, the, the nice thing I like about that, I know there's the four people, I've spoken to you all already outside, but there's a nice wee process here and there's a nice kind of yeah, group atmosphere which, which and everybody's good. playing their part and presumably you all swap around and do all of the jobs, do you? Or do you just well, do? I sometimes do the jobs that I like, but sometimes it's just, um, when I do, when there's a new job that I have to do, I get nervous. Right. That's when I get nervous. So. But I then you do it and you go, and well, once I, you've I, done it. Yes. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Well, you're, you're, I mean, you're saying you suffer from anxiety, but you also told me you sang at your brother's wedding there, and you, that must have been a heck of a thing uh, to do. It was, pa- on the day, like, I was Were so you patch- shaking? I was petrified. I was going in the car with my mum, and my, 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 I was like, Phew. the whole time my face was, like, flushed and all, and, and, I, and my mum was like, it's okay, you're going to be fine, you're going to be, do, you don't, um, do you pride, so. Um, well, everybody, every performer should be nervous before they do something, so that's, 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 that's normal, that's, that's that, not bad. Yeah. And the important thing is you did it, and you got through it, and you did it, and yeah. your brother said nice things about you as I, well, and you didn't ruin the wedding, did you? No. <laughs> you didn't sing the wrong song, no, you didn't get anybody's name I, wrong. I didn't sing the wrong song, or ever, which was good for me, because my, cu- my, my sister was like, are you okay? She saw me singing, and she was shaking like that, but, um, but um, no, um, I t- I'm glad that I've done it, because yeah, exactly, yeah. It's, it's, it's for a reason, and I've done it, and yeah. I'm so proud of myself, it, it, I, I, I didn't think I'd be, I was able to do it on the day, but I did it. So that's the whole. That's the. Way is that is that the normal sort of? How do you cope with anxiety? I mean, I oh, I, I get nervous. I, I'm always nervous before a gig and people. There's some comedians who are just very annoying who can let me talk and go on stage. I'm always. Well, it means you, you care. need a bit of nerve. Yeah. You need yeah. you yeah. care, like, you and it care, means you also yeah. you're thinking about what you're going to do as well and all yeah. of that. But if you're, you know, if, if anxiety is a real problem, are there ways to combat there that? There are. Again, you can train your yourself through your own self talk. You know, to calm yourself down, so you can have ways of um, and when you practice and practice and practice then yeah. whenever you're in a situation when you're really anxious you'd be able to do it much more easily that's why we talk about yeah, practicing yeah. your relaxation practicing mm-hmm. your mindfulness and your breathing as you explained because when you slow down the breath the brain starts to think everything's going to be okay yeah. you know so it's all these things are connected yeah. but what a great achievement and now if you get worried about something you're doing again you can draw on this you yes. can go back and go right i did that and i got through it yes and so so then you have that experience in the bank yeah you know i was so just going to say that if, you, if somebody else yeah. asked you to sing in a wedding you'd go I, you know what i could do that could yeah you? because when they the christmas at au christmas actually because boxing there because of day my sister-in-law came down and there was a wee frame say, could you sing at our wedding? Oh, so, oh, oh. No, I mean, <laughs> so um, I said yes. Which was said a yes. Thing, which was did you get the agent yeah. to negotiate a fee or did you just, did you see you said <laughs> yes too quickly there? That's what's going wrong, Olivia. You need to hang up. I, I, said, I said yes because it, I, they mean the world to me. Like they uh. d- just mean the world to me. So. My brother means the absolute world to me. Yeah. So I didn't want to let them down on the day. So mm-hmm. I'd done it and they were so proud of me. And Good. Um, oh. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's quite... A, t- a bolster's helping with your anxiety as well. Coming yeah. here. Do you have, come exactly. here how many days a week? or what, what, what? Um, I do one day here and then I do two days at my um, centre in Laurel Centre. So... Um, which is good, and then I'm off Wednesday and Friday, which which is good as well, you know. 
Um, I had the, uh, you know, the vaccines last year, and I was nervous about them. But the, my mum was holding my hand and t- and talking to me the whole time, and the nurse was t- was was brilliant with me as well. And you know, um, I got the injections, and I was fine. Brilliant. But um, I, I've a phobia of needles, which oh, I oh, uh, my sister uh, has that. Oh, she cannot I stand needles. Yeah, yeah. But um, and um, my mum talks to me, and you- I'm just. And it's all very quick as well, isn't it? The job, yeah, isn't it? Exactly. Went exactly. Right. Yeah. And um, the more I get nervous, she always talks to me about it and just say, "Right, come on, you can do this. Just relax and breathe through your nose in and out, and then she it calms me right down." Good. That Good. really, really works. It's a lot of people uh, were scared about the vaccines, and we know oh, that yeah, maybe that needle phobia or worried about you know what was in it and everything. So yeah. it's good that you've done that. That's yeah. your way of giving back as well and protecting um, yourself and everybody around you from I know from exactly. The it's, um, it's important because I have a granny, um, a granny god who lived beside me, you know, and um, you know, so. Um, I, I wanted to keep myself safe because I don't want them getting sick and my, and, and my exactly. whole, whole house being sick. So, um, you know, because um, I have a lot underlying health condition, uh, it's important for me to get those vaccines. Mm-hmm. So, um, so, yeah. Good, good. Is there anything else you do to, to fight the anxiety? Is there anything you do? Do you, how do you relax? Do you like? I know you like. I know you like giving the head peace, which is a very good thing to do. But is that? I mean, something seriously. Something watching telly and watching comedy and stuff I like that. Does that? If, if, or music or listening to music. If I get nervous, I put my music on. Right. The, the music just. Oh my god! It just helps me to get through stuff that is. Like, yeah. Of, like you know, but um. Presumably, nice music. You know, not thrash metal. No. Like in the, you know, a bit of classical or something or yeah. a bit of. I love like relaxing music, like smooth and like music, and um, I listen to it um, when I get nervous, and, and it really helps me too. So, and also I love back massages. Back massages. Yeah. Back massages are really good for nerves as well. Oh, yeah. And um, so um. But and are they available here in the Bolster community? <laughs> <laughs> no. But, no. But, I've, I've got um, half an hour. I was hoping to get. It. <laughs> but, um, no, but it's really good for me as well because um, last year I got my four wisdom teeth taken out and I had an operation for that, and I was petrified. So um, my mum was there with me the whole time. So which is good for so. Yeah. Um, so I was a bit weepy on the day, but I got well through done. it, and I was mm-hmm. fine. Mm-hmm. Well done. Well, Lisa, uh, Olivia, thank you very, very much. We have to shoot on through and talk to Natasha here, but we know you're the boss. We know you are the main, <laughs> the main woman here, aren't you? It's now, Natasha, we've spoken to Lisa, Gary and Olivia, but we know really you're the boss here and you do the most important job, isn't that right? <laughs> you do the most important part of the process. Well, cleaning up the... Well, so what, tell us what you do then, Natasha. Um, I clean up the like these things here. The yeah. same, like <laughs> not really good talk. You're all right. You're right. So, so this is the last. So when you say clean them up, you mean the, the you, you stop any of the wax getting around the, yeah. the, the thing and making okay, sure it's all yeah. nice and presentable. And uh-huh. and, and you, then after I clean them, I put one of the labels on. Oh, class! Yeah, right. So. Okay. And uh, did you find it nice and relaxing here in the booster? Do you? Yeah. yeah? And are the good people here? Are they, are they all right? Yeah. Is there anybody you want me to sack? Is there anybody no. you want me to sack? Because I get, say the word and I, they're gone. No, they're, no, they're, no, you no. sure? Yeah, yeah. You sure? <laughs> <laughs> and is it nice? It seems like a nice relax. I mean, candles are, are, you know, I like a lit candle. There's nice smells. There's nice aromas and all of that. Is it nice and relaxing place to work then? Yeah. Good stuff. And do you enjoy the Bolster community then? Bolster's been good for you, has it? Yeah. Been here before, before it actually changed into Bolster. Right. Mm-hmm. So that was a, it was it used to be a um, I call it a charity shop. Right. So that was it was all right then as well. So. But these you sell these online. You were at the you, you were you at the um the what do you call it the Palmer. the Palmer yeah. show. No, yeah. no, you were at the Palmer show, but they, you do sell them online and you were selling them all around the place. Yeah. Aren't you? So people can go to. Is there a website they can go to? Do we know the website? 
look up Bolster, look up Bolster Community and Candles and uh, something. Acorn Sense, yeah. maybe. Acorn Sense, something will come up anyway. Or through the Inspire Wellbeing website. Yeah. We'll put, we'll put a link in the comments section. That's a good idea. That's what they do on Instagram, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so you make up the boxes as well, do you? Do you help with that? Or is it yeah, sometimes, yeah. What do they call the uh, the hamper boxes? Is that? Yeah. All right, what's, what's in a hamper box? What will I get if I, if I sneak a hamper box out of here? What's, what's, what's inside it? Well, you do get a candle. Right. Like you, you can get soap as well. Oh, soap? Mm. All right, you make soaps as well, yeah. Yeah, you know that. Oh, no, I, no, I didn't know that. No. <laughs> don't look at me like I do you not know that, McGarry. I'm not here. <laughs> no, they do make soaps. Right? Oh, All yeah. right. I don't, I don't do it. It's just um, one, only the ones, the other ones out there makes it. So. Right, okay. But you enjoy it, it's nice and well. How many days a week would you come here, Natasha? Only once a week. Once a week, right. Well, it's a nice, easy going atmosphere. Yeah. And it is, it seems very relaxing, it seems very chilled, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It is. Do you, do you get anxious yourself? Do you have uh, any issues of being anxious or anything like that? But we were talking to uh, Olivia there who sometimes gets an anxiety. Not really, no. I get anxiety. I was anxious this morning because I got lost in the way here, going around Newry roundabouts and things, yeah. <laughs> Get lost too. Did you? I don't know. Yeah. I, I had to phone people. It was very embarrassing. And then oh, I had oh, no I bars in my phone. Here. You had you used your own wits. Oh wits, right. No, okay. I looked at I looked at something that looked like like a, like an industrial centre. Because yeah. it was over there on a pile with a pile of houses. But when I was panicking, I couldn't even do that. I was in such a state I couldn't see the place in front of me and I had to then get talked to. You know, trying to think of like the maps or something to show you what it is. I did, but exactly. it didn't it didn't take me here. It took me kinda of round the corner, which for me it might have been a million miles away because I couldn't I was then yeah, a panic, then I panicked mm -hmm. and I was phoning people and going, I'm lost. But but we're here and we're grand now and, and walking in and smelling the lavender. Yeah, we're feeling very chilled. Yeah, it's okay, good then. Mm -hmm. um, anything else we need to talk about? What, what, so you're, we were talking about the five steps to five steps to well -being. Mental, to well being. Is mm -hmm. there anything else you want to say to the, the good people who are watching this? Well, yeah, yeah. I suppose I suppose it's important to to just say in World Mental Health Day that we are trying to change things in Northern Ireland. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff happening, you know, to make services better, to get an earlier so that we can help people at an earlier stage if they're starting to show signs of mental health problems. And we have um, now a 10 year strategy, which is like a plan to change everything. So, um, you know, we're working, we're working on this. It's going to take a while, but you know, it should be, the difference should be visible soon. You know, when people are able to get appointments more quickly if they're struggling with their mental health, if they're going through things, you know, that might eventually lead to mental health problems that they might be able to get support at an earlier stage and of course through communities like this and putting yeah. more funding in here we're supporting people with yeah, well, their mental health say, as well things yeah. like this small projects like that seem to have a you know, very positive effect it's really really important you know um, and but, save you at the other end in terms of you know the cutting edge sort of health service stuff you want, you mm -hmm. want to stop it before it gets to that point I will we'll help on people who might be a bit more vulnerable or high yeah. risk you know um, the, the sort of the work going out to work is so, so important just having that yeah. structure to your day knowing what you're about knowing what you're getting up to do is really really important you know and having a team and a, um, you know friends around you that you can connect with at a place to go is is just so so vital so there should be a lot more of that stuff happening in the future and and you know the political parties are committed to to changing things here and making things better she smiled there when she made those political parties <laughs> well, don't well, you attack really the political are. parties those people have given me a career for 25 years <laughs> don't you dare attack our politicians what would you do if we suddenly started doing everything <laughs> right here you started doing nice you would oh, have a career that's the end of it <laughs> I'd be completely unemployed. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> listen, thank you very much. Uh, World Mental Health Day, is that what World it's Mental Health Day, 10th, 10th of October, but 10th just a October. time, you know, not only to, to, you know, look after yourself, but also to think about other people who might be struggling with their mental health and reach out, reach out to other people and connect to. Right, and can I just on a personal note thank Natasha and Lisa and Gary and Olivia, especially Natasha, who was the best of the lot of them. <laughs> the they did their best, you know, but finally, we saved the best to last. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, have a great World Mental Health Day. Look after yourself.